All right, we're really doing this today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. Please feel free to subscribe. I try to put out new fresh content every single day of the week and I would love to have you as a subscriber. If you have been here before and you are returning, I'm so happy to have you back. Today is going to be a story time video and I can't believe we're going here. I can't believe we're doing this. I'm a little bit apprehensive, but we're gonna do it. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna do it. I'm not gay, but I've made out with a girl. A lot. One girl. All right, let's get back into the story. To start off, I would like to say that I think that kids most of the time are a lot older than we give them credit for. We, they understand a lot more and they have their own like child life crisis. I think that every kid kind of goes through a time where they are like really confused or they're like going through pre-puberty and they're just like, oh my God, like something like their, their whole life basically crashes. The time that my life did that was when I was six years old. And when I was six years old, a lot of stuff happened. I could get into many more story times about that, but this story time is going to focus on one girl specifically that I experimented with sexually all the time. I'm not going to tell you any clues about who she is or where she lived or anything about her because this is private. <laughs> well, it, it's a private thing that you have to decide whether or not you're going to share and she has obviously not shared it. So uh, I'm not going to say who she is, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to call her Jane because I don't know anybody in real life named Jane, do I? No, I don't. Let's do it. Me and Jane were friends for a couple of years before we started kissing. When we started kissing, we were six years old. Yes, six years old. If you remember the show, Hey Arnold, we used to play that she was Helga. I think that was her name, Helga, is that her name? The one with the, like the eyebrows and then I was Arnold and I would like wake her up from a sleep and I would be like hi Helga if that was really her name I'm not sure but and then I would like kiss her and yeah we would like make out and eventually yeah it like it went it graduate gradually went from kissing like innocent stuff like that to like full-on makeouts okay with tongue and everything and eventually even more but I'll get into that later in the video me and Jane, we were really good friends and we had another, like we, we hung out with a lot of other people. We usually hung out at each other's houses. My parents would drive me to her house, her parents would drive her to my house, or we would even have sleepovers with our, with our other friends at their houses. But the guarantee was every time we would hang out, we would kiss and like experiment and stuff. And the one time it got really freaking like heavy duty like real stuff was when we were seven years old and a lot of stuff happened there because it was a sleepover we were all on the floor in our sleeping bags i ended up climbing into jane's sleeping bag and we were like reading a book and this is when we were so small you guys like we were seven years old and we were so small that we could both fit into a normal size sleeping bag under the sleeping bag with a flashlight reading a book and we were like reading a book and then we were just like, why are we reading when we could be kissing? So then we start kissing and we are like making out hardcore and um, we're like, okay, now let's try to open our mouths when we kiss. So then we'd be like, and then we were like, okay, let's try tongue. So then we'd be like, uh, you know, like tongue kissing. And then we were like, let's see what would happen if we pulled down our pants and kissed at the same time. So we went one, two, three, and we pulled down our pants. And so we were like really getting into this whole experimenting thing. I got really freaked out all of a sudden. I was just like, oh my gosh, I've been making out and pulling my pants down and like being sexual with a girl. And so I look at Jane and I'm just like, Jane, are we gay? And she's just like, no, no, we're not gay. And I'm like, are you sure? And she's like, oh yeah, we're not gay. And I'm like, whoo, good to know. Whoo, whoo, 
Woo! Dodged a bullet there! Not gay! I am not gay! I remember the final time that we did anything. And we were eight years old, almost nine. This had been going on for two and a half to three years. And we were at a sleepover at, our, at another one of our friends' houses. And everybody else was asleep. Me and Jane looked at each other and we were just like, Do you wanna go into the other room? And um, so then we went into the other room. And so we went in there and we were like making out and just getting all hot and heavy, pulling down our pants and all that kind of stuff and running our fingers through each other's hair. Like it was, I, it was incredibly erotic. Like. Looking back on it now, it's just like, we were eight years old. How were we doing that? Like, how did we know to do those things? And like, why were we doing them with each other? It was just, yeah, it was crazy to me because we didn't have any romantic feelings toward each other. As far as I know, we've never talked about it, like I said, so I don't know what she felt for me, but I never had any romantic feelings toward each other, toward her and she, never like whenever she liked a boy or whenever I liked a boy I never got jealous or anything like that and yeah we were just friends who like to make out and touch each other and that's it you know so we were yeah that's why I say that kids know a lot more than we think they do because we were two relatively normal girls and we did things that nobody else knew of and yeah, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy to me. The last time that we did anything, in the beginning, when we got into the room, we were just like talking and like sitting on the bed, like, so did you have a good day? Like, as far as I remember, we hadn't done anything in a couple weeks. She was just like, so what do you want to do? And I said, I don't know. What do you want to do? And she was like, well, obviously you want to do something. And I was like, well, so do you. That's why we're in here. And it was weird because it was like the first time we had talked about doing anything instead of just like doing it. And you could tell that we both wanted to, but there was just something different. We kind of knew it was the last time we were going to do that. We did get experimental, like pulling down the pants and stuff and like running our hands through each other's hair and everything. But it wasn't like any more than that. Like. You know what I'm saying? No more than that. That's the last time we ever did anything. Since then, I've only, I've questioned my sexuality like twice in middle school, like very, very briefly. I'm so straight. I don't like girls. I think they're beautiful. Sometimes I think they're really sexy or really pretty, but like the thought of making out with a girl now or doing anything with a girl is like, it like gives me a bad taste in my mouth. It's just repulsive to me. Just because you experiment when you're younger or like even in college, if you like have your experimental college years with girls or guys or whatever, it doesn't mean you're gay. It doesn't mean that you're bi. It, it just, it doesn't mean anything. It just means that that's what you did. I just had my crazy wild college years when I was six to eight and a half years old. God, that's so weird though. <laughs> Blows my mind. But after that, Time, we kind of stopped being friends and then it, middle school came around and we'd like pass each other in the hall and say hi but other than that we haven't really spoken or talked I don't even know what to say because it's just so bizarre it's just there's nothing wrong with kissing a girl if you're a girl or kissing a guy if you're a guy or being gay or being straight or being trans there's nothing wrong with that so there I really since I know that there's nothing wrong with that, I don't think that there is anything wrong with us, me and Jane, doing that when we were so young. Boom! Boom! My life is a lie. <sighs> That's out in the open. So, don't judge me for what I did when I was six to eight to nine years old. Nothing I can do about it now. Um, yeah, I don't, and again, I I know that some people are probably gonna be like, this is so private, like you shouldn't talk about this on the internet. But I don't think they'd be saying that if it was with a boy, you know? Cause there's still that like, that little thing there where people don't wanna like talk about their homoerotic experiences. <laughs> Being gay is okay. 
but I'm not gay. I mean, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and also a thumbs up if you want more story time videos. Lord knows I've got a bunch. And uh, give me a comment down below if anything like this ever happened with you. If you had a lot of kisses when you were younger or if you went through a phase where you se questioned your sexuality or if at what age you realized you were gay. I mean, I would love to hear all of your stories. And subscribe for new videos all the time. I try to make videos very often to keep y'all happy. And I hope I do that. So yeah, subscribe and go out there. Live like you give a fig. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.